Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the match reaction. Brentford 1, Everton 1. Uh, feels like two points lost. Feels like two points dropped. Not in the way last week did. Last week was two points dropped because we should have won the game. Today, we had rolled our luck massively. But when you get seven minutes from the end away from home and you're winning, you, in my opinion, you should you should see the game out. Um, the manager changed the team again. Uh, he took out Salomon Rondon from last week, went with McNeil, Gray and Gordon as the front three. Um, yeah, either Wobie and Onana in the middle and then it was the same back five that has, has been in place for a while. And I thought Everton started the game quite well, to be honest. You know, Brentford had a little flurry in the opening couple of minutes, but Everton had control of the game, got on the ball, dominated the possession without really having that cutting edge. We know that. There's no cutting edge in the final third. We knew that anyway. Brentford had a really good chance early on. Buemo putting it wide. He carved us open. And that was a, that was a threat like all day they'd off our set play, certainly in the first half. They broke really quick. But we had moments of ourselves early on as well. A Wobie tested Raya from 25 yards. The final ball into the box as well at times wasn't great. Too, too long to get shots away at times. Damari Gray, uh, Anthony Gordon had a good strike at goal. And then we got the goal, Connor Cody, playing a ball over the top. And it was a fantastic first touch to Anthony Gordon. Took him into the box and stayed it beyond Raya to give us the lead. And then... We played some lovely football. Brentford were playing on the counter-attack. They hit the post. They hit the post to Jensen at 0-0. Ivan Tony had headed against the post as well. And I think it might have been Wish, I think, blazed the rebound over. And we were just breaking nicely. But the problem they haven't have got right now with not having the centre-forward and all their naturally attacking um, plays in the final third is when we get into that final third there's no target to hit in the box you know even playing with Anthony Gordon and Damari Gray up there with Dwight McNeil dropping no one naturally takes up a position in the box we had one where it was another great ball this is at 1-0 and Mikalenko took it on his chest and cut it back but, but if someone would have been tearing them you know to get into the box ready for a cross he could have just rolled it across and he'd have had a tap in and it was just moments like that where you can just see without a centre forward, we are quite blunt really up there. We got in a half time, 1 0 up, came out second half. You know, Brentford had a little flurry at the start of the second half without really testing Job and Pickford. And we then we carried a threat on the counter attack. We did, we rolled our luck, they hit the crossbar. It was Norsgaard, wasn't it, who hooked it over his head and it hit the bar. And you do, we were getting blocks in and Pickford then made a good save and you're thinking, is it, is it going to be like one of those days where it's our day, things will go right for us and we'll get the win, uh, albeit, you know, riding our luck as Brentford were pushing. And you know what Brentford are like, they never stop. One of those teams that just never stops. The manager doesn't stop on the touchline and they don't stop. You know, fantastic example of doing things correctly and being able to carry it on and, and the crowd love it as well. So we knew we were going to be up against it. But the manager... Should have made the subs earlier on. Uh, I think Dwight McNeil should have come off and Rondon maybe should have come on. He took O'Nana off who I thought was was doing well, but they they must have data on the bench that said he needed to be subbed. Tom Davis come on. Uh, but Brentford got the equaliser and Brentford got a corner that we give away, I thought, cheaply. And I'm not convinced the ball crossed the line. Uh, I haven't seen it again, to be fair, but Michalenko didn't look like he was happy with the, with the lines and he gave the corner. Corner comes in, we don't win the first either, you're in trouble, Awobi goes to sleep and the lad's on hand to tap it in from a yard out. And it was so frustrating because it was so avoidable and we'd kind of gone through Brentford's, uh, what you know, the waves where you're feeling vulnerable. I felt like we'd got out of that. At 1-0, we'd had a fantastic chance to win the game, to kill the game off totally. Um, good ball from Onana, the Marty Gray's run through, just hit it with your left foot. He hesitates a little bit and the chance goes. That would have been a you know great opportunity to make it 2-0. We had another one where Anthony Gordon caught a volley and the keeper spilt it. Michalenko, he keeps it down, it's 2-0. Tries to dink it over the keeper and Raya makes a save. And, you know, Brentford got the equaliser. And then we, we had to dig in a little bit to get a point. And 
you come away and you say, yeah, you know, points, a decent result, but when you're seven minutes away from winning the game, you can't help but be frustrated that you haven't won it. Uh, and I know Brentford fans are watching it, they'll be saying, yeah, but we deserve to win. I'm not, you know, I've looked at the stats and all that. It was, they had more attempts at goal than us by three or four, whatever. But I just felt we had opportunities at 1-0 and, and then when you've battled that long, you, it's a great opportunity to see it off. But we didn't. And that's the way it is, you know. It's, it's the way the season's gone so far. We've probably deserved... You know, we've we've well deserved to have more points than what we've got, but we haven't got anything up front. We've got nothing in the final third, goal threat wise, in terms of players that get goals. You know, Gordon's got one today, brilliant. But you know, Damari Gray's got one last week, which is that's what we need if they're in the team. But we need more goals in this team, and there isn't any. So, you know, you are gonna look blunt, and and that's the way it is. We've got a point. And we move on now. We've got Leeds on Tuesday. It's another difficult game away from home again. Uh, before we've got Liverpool, who've just won 9 0. So great. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, man of the match. Um, I don't think anyone was outstanding. I thought they, they all worked hard and did a job to a certain extent. So it's a difficult one. I give, give it to Anthony Gordon because he scored. But I don't think anyone stood out really. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching. See you later.